Hello there. Welcome back to Dr. K. Prem Primer Lecture Series presenting by Dr. K. Prem, that's me. Today we will uh, discuss about a virus that has been uh, using as a cloning and expression vector as well as a bio pesticide. So that is none other than Autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus. So that's one is Autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus. Total six letters, six words. So total six word, biggest name, Autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus. So this, today we will talk about this virus. And this virus, Autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus belongs to family that is called as a Baculoviridae. Baculoviridae. So here the word baculo means, the word baculo means stick. So the word baculo has come from Latin language. In the Latin, the baculo means stick. So the baculo virus or baculoviridae family viruses are, they are rod shaped viruses. They are rod shaped virus. Hence, they are called as a baculo. See, this is a, a autograph of Californica, multiple polyhedrosis virus. It's a rod shaped virus. They are rod shaped viruses and they are also enveloped viruses. They have a, I know this is enveloped. They are rod shaped and enveloped viruses. The baculoviridae family viruses are arthropod virus. Arthropods means insects. So insects are their natural host. The insects are their natural host for DNA replication as well as multipl multiplication of virus. Right? So as I'm saying, they are arthropod viruses, especially they are the uh, insects or their natural host. Baculoviridae family have four subfamilies. They have four subfamilies. They are alpha baculovirus, beta baculovirus, gamma baculovirus, and delta baculovirus. See, alpha baculovirus, beta baculovirus, gamma baculovirus, and delta baculovirus. So we are today, we are discussing about the autograph of Californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus. That virus belongs to the alpha baculovirus. See this? It belongs to the subfamily of alpha baculovirus. See? Autographa, autographa californica multiple capsid or sometimes you can say capsid also. Nuclear polyhedrosis virus is uh, belongs to the subfamily of alpha baculoviruses. They are rod shaped like this and they are enveloped and they are, their natural hosts are insects. Their natural hosts are insects. And uh, alpha, you know, uh, autographa californica, multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus has large, large cellular double strand DNA. See, it is it is having a large circular double strand DNA whose size is a 134 KB. 134 KB and its genome is completely mapped as well as sequenced. So it is a double stranded double stranded circular DNA and it is having 134 kilobase space and its genome is 
mapped and sequenced completely. See, it's sequenced completely. And you see, genome size is 134 KB, right? Double stranded circular. So the double stranded circular DNA of uh, a autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus, right? It is packed in a rod shaped capsid. The genome is present in the present in the rod shaped capsid. Rod shaped capsid. You see, this is the uh, rod shaped baculovirus. This is a capsid. This is a capsid. Within that capsid, this genome is present. It's a cap, it's a capsid, double stranded circular DNA. And this is a capsid again, and nuclear base of capsid, right? So, Autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus infects the infects the uh, insects belongs to the Lepidoptera Lepidoptera order of insects Lepidoptera order of insects in that. Uh, Moths and butterflies are present. Moths and butterflies. See, the Autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus infects the uh, moth which belongs to the Lepidoptera order of uh, insects. So whenever leaf is contaminated with the, this virus, if such, such leaves are consumed by the uh, moth, that is a, a Spodeptera, Spodeptera, Spodeptera prugi perda, Spodeptera prugi perda, that's also called as a fall army worm. See, this is what is the mature larva of uh, Spodeptera prugi perda, Spodeptera prugi perda. So, Autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus infects the uh, moth that is called as a Spodeptera prugi perda. Spodeptera prugi perda, that's also called as a fall army worm. Fall army worm. So, whenever a leaf is a, whenever a leaf is contaminated with the Autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus. If that leaf is consumed by the larva, then the virus enters into the mid-gut of, mid -gut of uh, larva. If the virus is uh, embedded by the occlusion matrix, then that is dissolved and virus particles are released. So virus released virus particles, they enter into the insect cells by endocytosis. So virus particles once enter into the gut, from there they enter into the uh, insect cells through by, by mechanism called as endocytosis. Once they enter into the endocytosis, once they enter into the cells through the endocy endocytosis, from there they'll move to the nucleus. So the virus enters into the nucleus of uh, mature larvae or larva cells, then there it undergoes the DNA replication as well as a multiplication of virus, multiplication of virus. So whenever a, a virus enters into the insect cells, it produces the two kinds of uh, virus particles. It produces the two kinds of virus particles. The first two virus particles are produced after uh, uh, early infection and their second virus particles are are produced in the late late uh, late phase of infection in the early phase of infection in the early phase of infection in the early phase of infection the virus particles produces the budded virus particles they are called as budded virus particles in the late phase of infection they produces the occluded occluded body derived virus particles i am saying again Whenever virus particles enters into the insect cell cells, then through the endocytosis, it reaches the nucleus. If there DNA replication takes place, 
and multiplication of viruses. It produces the two kinds of virus particles. One is a budded virus particle and the second one is a occluded derived virus particles. So those two virus particles we study in the next slide. As I told you that the first uh, in the early phase of infection, the virus particles produced, 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 they are called as budded virus particles. Why? Because when, when they are uh, re excreted from this, uh, excreted from the uh, insect cells, they are, but they are released into the extracellular space through the budding, through the budding. Budded virus particles have an envelope that envelope is derived from the plasma membrane of plasma membrane of plasma membrane of insect cell. You see, this is a budded virus particle which is uh, produced in the early phase of uh, uh, infection. They re they are released into the extracellular space by budding, and they, this envelope is uh, derived from the plasma membrane of plasma membrane of insect cell you see this is a one virus particle is enveloped that enveloped is derived from the plasma membrane of virus plasma membrane of insect cell so budded virus particles are produced in the early phase of infection and there is a and and the second type of uh, virus particles they are produced in the late phase of infection they are called as occlusion bodies derived virus particles occlusion body virus particle you see here this is a occlusion this is a inclusion body matrix and these are the occluded body occluded body virus particles here this is occluded uh, derived virus particle have three virus particles and the other one in other case it is having only one so in the late infection in the late infection what happens the virus particles which are uh, produced and they are they are occluded by the nuclear membrane of insect cell so they are occluded means enclosed completely closed by the nuclear inner membrane of the inner nuclear membrane of the virus cell so this you see this is a envelope this envelope is derived from the insect cell nuclear inner membrane so when a, when three or one three part three virus particles are uh, enclosed by the nuclear mem inner nu inner membrane inner nuclear membrane of the insect and they are called as uh, occluded occluded uh, derived particles Right, and their occluded uh, derived particles may have a three virus virus particles or single virus particle. You see, MNV. So you must be wondering why the Autographa californica multiple polyhedrosis, right? N nuclear polyhedrosis uh, virus. So why? Because that name has come. The occluded occluded bodies may ha have multiple virus particles see you how many of these are the occluded bodies they have three virus particles and that's why it called a multiple nuclear means viral replication is taking place within the nucleus of insect that's why they are called nuclear then polyhedrosis these occlusion occlusion occluded bodies are embedded in a inclusion bodies that inclusion body have a, a polyhedrin from a polyhedrin protein that that mat the that inclusion body have a have a polyhedrin protein that's the reason it is called as polyhedrosis virus got my point so autographa californica multiple because each occluded bodies have three virus particle it is replication takes place in the nucleus and these occluded bodies are embedded in the inclusion bodies. That inclusion body have a protein matrix. That protein matrix consists of majorly a polyhedrin protein. You got my point? 
in the next slide we will see the uh, different parts of the occluded virus particle derived virus particle and budded virus particle here we have a comparison so these are called as papillomers papillomers and the head of uh, uh, budded virus particle and then uh, there is a cap you see this is a cap in the both budded as well as occluded derived virus particle and the second one is this is genome genome is a double stranded right circular dna circular dna present in the uh, rod shaped capsid right then this is uh, you see these are the enolops so red enola for budded virus and the green enola for uh, occluded virus particle because the red indicates that it is derived from the plasma membrane of uh, insect cell the green enola is derived from the nuclear membrane of uh, insect so m and v multiple virus particles have a enola that derived from the nucleus nuclear membrane and the budded virus particles have a enola that enola is derived from the plasma membrane of insects then here you have a capsid right and the last one is a nucleo capsid base this is a uh, this is a nucleo capsid base so this is the these are the uh, common and different point uh, different uh, parts of the occluded virus particle and budded virus particle as i told you that the occluded virus particles means the more than one virus particles are enclosed by the nuclear uh, inner member inner nuclear membrane so those uh, occluded virus particles are embedded are packed or packed in the inclusion bodies this is a inclusion body this is a inclusion body this inclusion body is hexagonal and this inclusion bodies have a protein that protein is a, it is composed of protein but that too a one protein is predominantly present in the in the inclusion bodies that protein is called as a polyhedron inclusion bodies have have a, a protein that protein is called as a polyhedron polyhedron so the inclusion bodies inclusion bodies are synthesized or have a predominantly a protein called as a polyhedron so occluded virus particles are embedded in the embedded in the inclusion bodies inclusion what is it so this is majorly this uh, this inclusion or occlusion bodies have a protein called as a polyhedron the red dot i am indicating that that's a polyhedron protein so inclusion bodies have polyhedron protein this uh, occluded derived virus particles may be mnv or sm sne they are present they are they are embedded in the inclusion bodies their inclusion or occlusion inclusion bodies the inclusion bodies have a polyhedron protein so the inclusion bodies which are having the protein matrix of uh, uh, polyhedron these uh, inclusion bodies can be uh, they are resistant to most of the uh, harsh weathers so once the insect is cell is uh, lysis the inclusion bodies consist of uh, occluded virus particles are released into the atmosphere or in environment so in the environment because the virus particles are present in the inclusion bodies which is consist of polyhedron protein they can be they can be safe for years together they they are safe in a harsh weather also so the inclusion bodies protects the virus particles from the harsh environmental conditions right so the occluded virus particles are again embedded in the 
inclusion bodies these bodies are released into the uh, released into the atmosphere after the lysis of the insect cells so the in, um, inclusion bodies can are safer uh, to protect the occluded virus particles in the outside atmosphere whenever they find a suitable host and they enter into their host through the it's a me so if these occluded uh, inclusion bodies consist of uh, occluded virus particles they are placed on, if they are there in the uh, leaf if that that leaf is consumed by the uh, lepidoptera peregrinae uh, fall army uh, mature worm then that enters into the mid gut and it is where it is dissolved and virus particles release and again its uh, infection starts as i told you that inclusion bodies are having the a protein called as polyhedrin the polyhedrin protein is encoded by a orf called the uh, uh, orf whose uh, size is a uh, 735 base pairs the polyhedrin pro protein is a abundant protein in the inclusion bodies why because it is having a strong promoter it is having a strong promoter with the data box and cat box and a upstream region of 17 base pairs so it is having a polyhedrin protein is synthesized abundantly because it is having a strong active promoter with the elements of uh, data box at the minus 20 base pairs and the cat box at the minus 52 and another uh, 17 base pairs upstream region this entire these three elements are a part of strong active promoter of polyhedrin polyhedrin so the polyhedrin promoter transcribes the polyhedrin gene right with the help of our you know rna polymerases and produces the mrna and that mrna is converted to the protein that is a polyhedrin protein so here this this is a transcription site this is a transcription site and this is a transcription termination site so upon uh, transcription of the polyhedrin gene it produces the mrna and that mrna is converted to protein the protein is a uh, polyhedrin protein having the 245 amino acids and around 28 kda protein so here the most important point why we are studying bacterial virus because uh, the bacterial virus uh, genome can be manipulated and your gene of interest can be cloned under the strong polyhedrin promoter and it can be expressed massively and you get the protein of interest more abundantly right so that's the reason right and this image i have collected from the uniport and i am i have just at the end of the lecture of this one i am i am going to tell you the what are the applications of uh, autograph of californica multiple nuclear polyhed polyhedrosis virus so here it can be it is being used as a uh, cloning and expression vector as well as uh, it can be also used as a uh, bio pesticide why it is uh, suitable for cloning and expression vector because of three reason one is that the genome of uh, autograph of californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis can be packed into the capsid capsid between whenever the genome size is between 80 to 200 to 200 kilo base pairs means the actual size is the 134 but if, if you manipulate it if you manipulate it to such a way that uh, reduce to 84 still it is packed in the uh, uh, head or means capsid if you extend to 200 also it can be packed so there is no issue of uh, packing if you manipulate it so because of that you can clone larger dna fragments you can clone larger dna fragments into the this genome there is no problem see it can accommodate larger dna fragments because of the packing of uh, dna virus particle can happen when genome size is between 80 to 200 kilo base pairs and second most uh, second and important and uh, attractive feature of the autograph of californica multiple nuclear nuclear polyhedrosis is 
it is having a strong promoter that's a polyhedrin promoter the polyhedrin gene is and a polyhedrin promoter is, promote uh, protein is essential for uh, formation of inclusion bodies but that is not essential for uh, dna replication so if you right so inclusion bodies formation can happen only with the polyhedrin and other promote other proteins but it is not essential for uh, dna replication so if you can uh, replace the polyhedrin polyhedrin gene with the or gene of interest right then the same way way the uh, polyhedrin gene is expressed your gene also can be expressed because of its strong promoter so that you can get a abundant so a massive protein quantity you can get the more quantity of protein right and also it protein is so more you the purification and purification also becomes easy so you see it has a strong promoter polyhedrin to express the clone gene so massive quantity high quality of protein can be achievable and third important point is that the insects uh, cells will be used to, being used as a uh, cells to express the protein uh, by uh, by manipulating the uh, viral genome the glycosylation pattern of uh, insects cells and the mammalian cells are similar so whenever you express the uh, therapeutic proteins into the uh, into the in the insect cells and the proteins will have a similar glycosylation pattern and that resulted this results into the active and potential uh, proteins and it can be used as a bio pesticide so because it is more specific to the uh, particular order of uh, insects and it will not kill the any other uh, uh, related or unrelated uh, 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 insects so you can control the only uh, insects which are harming the crop right so this is all about the autograph of californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus right hope you like this lecture if at all you like this lecture try to you know say thumbs up and uh, if you have any doubts you please let me know through the uh, comment session and finally don't forget to subscribe because i am going to speak to you on regular basis whenever i do and you will be immediately notified through the you know subscription so try to subscribe me so that i'll be in touch with you thank you all for listening see you again on see you again soon bye 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 bye